all about the 60th running of the Australian Cup here at the Meadows. We see eight of Australia's best greyhounds converging for Group 1 status and their share in $357,000. We're ready for action in one of the great races. The Australian Cup, they're set. They're racing. And Rory Billy began OK away very fast now. Hasten slightly from out wide. Takes lead. There goes Hecton Vale burning around the outside of his second. Back on the inside is Zipping English. Followed then by Opal Nera. A length and a half away to Diana Forest. Followed by Rory Billy. Then Jason Crackers and Slick back at the tail. But Hecton Vale burst clear in the Australian Cup. Race six lengths out in front of a Hasten slightly. Opal Nera on the outside. Zipping English and Rory Billy. This is a great win in the Australian Cup. The 60th edition goes to Hecton Vale by six lengths. Hastings Haley second, a breathtaking performance to win a third in the race April Nero. George Hectenbell dominated in his heat and now he's dominated the Australian Cup. Yeah, he just got the perfect run tonight and sometimes, well, you hope for runs like that and they don't happen all the time, but tonight he just got a world perfect run. The seven took him across the field and he was right there at the first turn, which is what he needed and a very strong dog and he ran home very nicely, so it was, it was a great, great run by him. And Wheeler spoke about how successful Fernando Bale, his father, is as a sire. It must be great being involved in Hecton Bale as his son, but Fernando Bale, the whole, the whole story is amazing. Yeah, well, Fernando was an absolute champion of a dog. You know, he, a dog like him doesn't come along every day, and uh, he's gone to stud, and to, he's just that successful for a dog at, at this stage of his uh, stud career. Uh, he looks like the next Brett Lee, because Brett Lee was great on the track and great on at stud, and Fernando's looking like being the same. Now, Hecton Powell, he has just won the Australian Cup, obviously, but what future do you see for this dog? He was in this race tonight. We'll get this over and done with, and he, he, was, he did well and won the race, and uh, whatever group one races are up, he, as I said, he's a touch slow early, so we've got to pick the tracks we can take him too. But he's a good chase, a very good chase and very strong so he'll just go to the group one races and see, see what happens.